Safely back at home and thanking his lucky stars, Robert Webber was rescued after more than two weeks stranded and alone. In a way it was serene because I could hardly believe it. It was uh, one of the greatest moments in my life. The 58-year-old had been staying at a country pub when he set off during the day on the 6th of January. Disoriented, he ventured along a farm road in his two-wheel drive sedan, opening and closing four sets of metal gates along the way and eventually becoming stuck. It turned to be detrimental because that road went nowhere. When it says no through road, they mean it. After a few days, he left his car to find water, eating mushrooms and being attacked by ants while he tried to sleep. That's just ferocious. Now I rip your whole ear off, you know? And they were my worst predator. With rolling green hills, the local MP Tony Perrott's 15,000 acre property is picturesque. But beyond the range, the land is unforgiving. It's rugged, uh, there's a lot of scrubby land, tenor gullies. And when, we, when you become disorientated and then lost, uh, it, it's very difficult country to find your way out of. Police launched an air and ground search after musterers found Mr Webber's car on a remote part of the property. The official search was called off last Wednesday, but the parrots didn't give up, finding Mr Webber yesterday. We drove down, uh, he put out his hand to shake mine and I shook his and I said, Robert, geez, you've been the hardest bloke to find anywhere around this region for a long time. So I think it was really good to, to get a phone call from the property owner yesterday to inform me that he'd found the missing person and he was alive. It was a, a very joyous moment. While he was lost out in these hills, Mr Webber endured temperatures of up to 35 degrees and periods of heavy rain. His instinct to stay close to a water source made him easier to find. Mr Webber's dog was with him at the start of the ordeal but is still missing. They'll keep a lookout for it, hoping to strike gold twice. Emma Pollard, ABC News, Kilkeven.